In Luke chapter 17 verse 28 30 Jesus made an amazing statement by saying, as it was also in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day, when the Son of Man is revealed. In this passage, Jesus is drawing a parallel between the time of Lot from the Old Testament book of Genesis, and the future event of his own return. It was the same as happened in the days of Lot. This refers to the days of Abraham's nephew, Lot, who lived in the city of Sodom. During this time, the people of Sodom were deeply wicked and immoral. The Bible describes their sins, including arrogance, greed, and sexual immorality. They were eating, they were drinking, they were buying, they were selling, they were planting, they were building. This line describes the ordinary, everyday activities of the people of Sodom. They were going about their lives, engaging in mundane activities, seemingly oblivious to the spiritual significance of their actions. On the day that Lot went out from Sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. This is a reference to the dramatic and catastrophic event of Sodom's destruction and God's judgment. The city was completely consumed by fire, and brimstone, sulfur, sent from heaven as a divine punishment for their wickedness. Lot and his family were the only ones who were spared, as they were led out of the city by angels before the destruction. Jesus said, it will be just the same on the day that the Son of Man is revealed. Jesus uses the example of Sodom's destruction to illustrate the suddenness and unexpected nature of his coming in the last days. He is likening the attitudes and behaviors of the people of Sodom to those of people in the end of days when he returns. It's not hard to see that we are living in these last days as the world is falling into wickedness, arrogance, greed, and sexual immorality. According to Genesis chapter 18 and 19, the angels who were sent to destroy the city of Sodom could not execute the judgment until Lot and his family were safely removed. The story of Lot and the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah can be a foreshadowing of events related to the end times and the time of the rapture. The idea of the rapture is mainly derived from passages in the New Testament, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 17 and 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 51 52. God's righteous ones being caught up to meet the Lord in the air. The rapture is the belief that before the period of intense tribulation, as described in the book of Revelation and other biblical prophecies, God will remove true believers from the earth sparing them from the suffering and judgments that will take place during that time. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 says, Because you have kept my word about patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world, to try those who dwell on the earth. The connection between the story of Lot and the rapture, lies in the parallel of the righteous being removed, before judgment falls on the wicked. In the case of Lot, the angels would not execute judgment until Lot and his family were safely outside the city. Similarly, the rapture suggests that God will not unleash his final judgments on the earth until his faithful followers have been taken away. This will happen before a period of intense tribulation that will occur on the planet earth. The tribulation is often associated with a seven-year period of widespread suffering and judgments, as described in various biblical prophecies, including Revelation. The tribulation is viewed as a time of God's wrath and judgment upon the wicked. The parallel between the story of Lot and the rapture lies in the idea that God will also spare his righteous, the church, from the coming judgment. Simply, God will remove his faithful believers from the earth before the fullness of his end-time judgments is unleashed during the tribulation. The story of Lot also highlights God's care for the righteous amidst the judgment of the wicked. If you haven't accepted Jesus as your savior, we respectfully request that you do so now. Please like, share, and subscribe to Grace to Prophecy Network.